Now, gentleman from Indiana, Mr. Banks. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, Secretary Warmoth, is race a factor in admissions to the Army's Officer Candidate School? To be honest, Congressman, I'm not sure off the top of my head. We basically are looking for the best qualified, diverse folks to come into our officer corps. So the Army has said repeatedly that affirmative action at West Point is, quote, critical to our national security. So why is it critical at West Point? You don't seem to know about Officer Candidate School, but why would, why would, it, be, why would it be critical to our national security to protect affirmative action at West Point? Congressman, I think it's the, the same reason and would be true for OCS and our West Point officers. It's to try to make sure that we have the best qualified, diverse set of people to, the, to lead a, you know, enormous army made up of people from all different races, all different religions, all different demographics. The Supreme Court's ban on affirmative action at universities obviously applies to ROTC programs. Has that ruling harmed our national security? I think we're still, you know, seeing the implications of the Supreme Court's decision. But in the meantime, we're doing everything we can to recruit the best possible folks into our officer corps and to the Army more broadly. But if the Army says it over and over again, I mean, what, what, what does it really mean that, quote, affirmative action is critical to our national security? I'm, I'm just wondering, what, what does that mean specifically? I think what I why think, is it critical to our national security? What why is, I think why is, is affirmative action critical to our national security? What's critical to our national security is having the best qualified officers we can have to lead our soldiers. A large, you know, number of our soldiers are African American, are Hispanic, are women, and we want to make sure that they have leaders that they look up to, that they have things in common with, and that they see as credible. So I think we want to have a diverse set of leaders to lead a diverse set of Americans who are serving in the Army. Is affirmative action the only way to accomplish that? Well, we're, I think, you know, we're taking a number of factors into account. And does it seem hypocritical that affirmative action at West Point, but not for OTC, how does the Army compute that? Congressman, I think, you know, frankly, I was a little puzzled at the Supreme Court's decision and the fact that they created a carve-out for the military academies when they decided that affirmative action uh, wasn't legal for all of the colleges why, and universities. Why were you puzzled? Well, it just seems interesting to me. Why, why would they treat the academies differently from regular civilian colleges and universities? I, I wasn't sure what the line of thinking there was. If Congress, but I'm, I'm not an attorney, so... If Congress eliminated affirmative action to... For, uh, I agree, it is puzzling. Um, if Congress ended affirmative action at West Point, would the Army abide by that, and like every other college and university in America, and, and do away with it? The Army is going to abide by the laws of the United States, so yes, I think if Congress passes a law, we'll abide by it. At a conference at Duke University, you said, quote, today more than 80% of recruits come from military families. There is a risk of developing a warrior caste when only 1% of the population serves in the military. What did you mean by that? What I meant by that is I think if you have um, the preponderance of folks in the Army coming from Army families, you have a possibility of becoming more and more distant from the 99% of the other Americans who aren't who aren't familiar with the military. And I just think that's something you want to guard against. I think it's healthy for us in the Army to have a, a, as, you know, a broader, represent, broader you know, representation the, where, as possible where is the, of folks. Where is the biggest source of military recruitment? Where, where does that come from? We get people from all across the country. We take for, a lot of people from, from the families. South and Southeast. from military families. Yes, about Children 80%. of, of mm -hmm. service members. Yes. How far off is the Army of its current recruitment goals? Right now, we're actually on pace, I think, I don't want to get overly confident, but I think we're going to make our recruiting this year, which is a goal of 55,000 contracts. But you agree that you've reduced your goals from last year when you were way off the mark? We had a very ambitious goal last year. I think General George and I agree that a goal of 55,000 new soldiers plus 5,000 so in the delayed I take entry from what program you just, is healthy. I take it from what you just said, is the Army intentionally avoiding uh, new recruits from military families? I mean, this is really stunning. No, certainly not. We are, we are very proud of... Warrior caste. 
we're very proud of all of the folks who come from military families, and we welcome them with open arms. Really shocking testimony. I, Mr. Chairman, I yield back. Gentleman's time has expired.